Hello everyone, so whenever I see a small bath in between or between the trees, whatever condition, foggy days, the sun, the sun is shining like right now, cloudy, whatever the condition I like to take off my camera and start taking photos. Maybe you don't like that, but for me personally, whenever I see a small bath and a tree is covered with trees, there's no sky and grass on the ground trees on the left side on on the right side i i feel i feel i really want to take a photo <laughs> yeah but i hope it will work this today today is as you have just seen the sun is shining and i hope it will work i hope i will like the photo I'm really taking care again today I'm really taking care about my histogram because last time I was taking care about my histogram but I just didn't see a small place in the highlights areas where the histogram went up a little bit in the photo and I couldn't repair it up in the sky as if you remember the last photo I will put it right now but I don't like it the sky was uh, visible in the photo and exactly the spot that is visible from the sky it was overexposed and i couldn't repair it at all because i don't want any place where the sun is hitting the ground or it is hitting the leaves of the trees or the grass for example on the ground i don't want any spot to be overexposed and like you know it's not not beautiful at all to have a white spot without any information if the condition is cloudy and there's no sunlight i can say I can told you that you can take only one exposure taking care about your highlights and you don't have to make any bracketing but in in harsh lights like today I like to be safe better than regretting something like last last time so here is another photo I was trying to take and if you want to ask me what is the main subject is I was really struggling to define exactly what is the main subject but for me what I like what attracts my eyes at the beginning as I was looking I, I wasn't planning or anything like that I just was looking and searching for anything and I saw this packlet this small branch which is coming from from the ground and the sun is hitting from behind and it makes like packlet and beautiful soft morning light i really like it a lot and i just wanted to show this packlet on the branch of this uh, on the leaves of this branch and maybe the composition would be like this small path here which is the path on the left of these two small trees and i was trying to avoid showing showing the fence as you can see right here i have a fence and I was trying to avoid showing the fence as much as I can. I'm using the 50mm lens and I'm, I'm using a vertical composition to show only the trees and to avoid showing the fence. It's so simple, it's not complicated, but I really like the backlit which I have right now coming behind the leaves. For this photo I didn't use any exposure blending. I did bracket on the field but I found that the underexposed one works perfect and I didn't need anything from the other two which are the normal exposed and the overexposed one. Here is another possibility which also works so nice because of having a lot of contrast. I found that black and white is also not bad in this photo because we have the sun in the composition which also means we have a lot of contrast. A lot of contrast means a beautiful black and white photo.
So what I forgot to say is that I was bracketing exactly like the first photo, but I tried uh, two different f-stops. I tried at f5.6 like the first photo and I tried also at f2.8 which will give me a lot of out of focus areas and I was focusing on that backlit branch. Maybe that will give me more beautiful, you know, feeling to, to have a lot of things out of focus and the focus will be only on the backlit branch or where the sun is hitting the ground here and the branch which I like the most which is maybe the main subject of this photo. Yeah, I like it. I like it a lot when you when you can take a photo and you think that you will like without planning or without anything. Like today I don't have any plan in my mind. Just I decide that I want I want to come to this location but there's nothing specific in my mind and suddenly I saw this backlit branch and I like it a lot. Maybe I will like it more than the first photo because the light is playing a very important role in this photo here. Like the video of Thomas Sitton, I have to make a cut every 10 minutes because the, the sound of the train is so, so loud. So like the video of Thomas Sitton, something like two weeks ago, he was talking about planning for landscape photography and I like that video a lot because I'm very bad at planning. Um, especially when your time is not only for photography, you know, you are not a full-time landscape photographer or something like that. And you can't always plan and you can't always go out when the, when the conditions are perfect. Sometimes you have to go out when the condition is not so perfect because this is the time, this is your free time when you can go outside. So I like that video a lot. He was talking that you don't have to plan, just go out, take your camera, take your lenses and go out without any planning, go to a specific location. He meant that you have at least to have a specific location in your mind in order not to waste a lot of time to go there and without any expectation, without any planning. For example, to say today I want to take a photo with my 50mm lens and if I didn't make that I will not take any photo. Or today I want to take a photo only with my ultra wide angle lens. I have the ultra wide angle lens today. I have the 7300mm lens today with me. The both lenses because there is nothing specific in my mind. Until now I did use only the 50mm lens. Maybe I will take off the other lenses, maybe not. The most important thing to think freely without putting any expectation, without putting any limitations. So again, thank you very much for watching this video. Thanks a lot for your support for this channel, your likes, your comments. That's really so much appreciated. I hope you like the photos. The first one, I'm not sure you will like it. I hope you like this photo, this beautiful backlit sunrise or morning light. I will not say sunrise because sunrise was something like I would say four or four, four, four or five hours. But it's still a beautiful morning light because I have a beautiful backlit light. Now it's something like 10 a.m. and you still can call it morning light. So thank you very much for watching this video. Please consider subscribing if you are not already and see you in the next video. Bye.